We're following a developing story out of McDowell County tonight. Thousands of fish are dead after someone tampered with a hatchery. Now, as News 13's Karen Wynn reports, law enforcement officers are searching for the suspect. The Armstrong Hatchery near Marion lost about 150,000 rainbow trout over Easter weekend, including all of the trout in this raceway. The hatchery superintendent feels it was no accident. Three days later, hatchery workers were still cleaning up, covering a grave 20 feet deep filled with rainbow trout, trout that were about to fill rivers in 12 western North Carolina counties. Yeah, it was awful. It was sickening. Hatchery Superintendent Mike Anderson says the problem began Saturday afternoon, opening day of trout season. One of the hatchery employees noticed the fish were in distress. Jumping out of the raceways and we're all at the head of the raceways stressing. Water flow to the raceways had been cut off, suffocating the fish. The whole creek is dammed off. Anderson says the employee found a valve controlling the Armstrong Creek Dam totally cranked. The dam was raised. When he came up here and cranked that up, all the water went into the creek and the fish didn't have any water. Anderson says it only took 30 minutes to fix the problem, but that was too late to save more than a third of the trout. Hatchery workers spent Easter gathering up and dumping dead fish. It's going to be a felony charge. I haven't actually got with our district attorney's office yet to determine what charge the, that's going to be uh, pursued. Not only does it hurt the anglers, but it hurts the economies of all of these communities that depend on fishing. Hatchery Superintendent Mike Anderson says it could take up to two years to completely repopulate all the fish that they lost. In McDowell County, I'm Karen Wynn, News 13.